Hi everyone, hope you are doing well. So here we have another question from the same passage and the direction for question is answer the following question based on the information provided below. As we understood the text, let's jump to the question. The question asked here, what is the main crux of the passage regarding the status of uh, patient researchers in academia? Now, um, if we see that what the question is about what? The question is about the identifying. Identifying what? Identifying uh, the core argument. Identifying the core argument argument of the basis concerning patient researchers in academia. Look at the each choice. The first choice stated patient researchers are gradually gaining recognition in academia due to increasing diversity in initiative. So this choice suggests that patient researchers are what means are getting uh, getting more recognition due to the diversity initiative. However, the passage indicates that despite these efforts, patient researchers will face, you can say that, significant barriers. Significant barriers. Significant barriers. Isn't it? No. In that case, means if I observe the first option, the first option is wrong. Right? Look at the second one. Despite more focus and diversity, patient researchers continue to face significant barriers to due to systematic epistemic injustice. Now, option two is stated that what accurately reflect the main argument of the passage. It uh, highlights it highlights what it highlights that patient researchers face serious challenges due to systematic epistemic uh, injustice, even with increased focus and diversity. Right, so hence we can say option sorry, uh, option two is the correct answer here. Option three and four, option um, three and four, three said the main challenge for patient researchers uh, is the lack of formal research credential compared to the other academy. So this choice incorrectly suggests that the main focus. Uh, is the lack of formal research credential while the passage emphasizes broader systematic issues of discrimination. So hence we consider three is wrong. Four, the inclusion of paper researchers in academia is merely a uh, token effort that has uh, no impact on actual research outcomes, right? Now three incorrectly suggests that the main issue is the lack of formal research credentials while the passage emphasizes broader systematic issues of discrimination. Isn't it? Even if you look at the fourth, fourth is stated um, on oversimplification, the passage discusses deeper systematic problems rather than just uh, token efforts. So in that case, one, three, and four are eliminated. Option four, two would be what? Now is the main crux. Option two is what? The main crux, um, um, you can say that uh, the passage discusses deeper systematic problems rather than just taken efforts. And we understood that the main crux of the passage is that despite diversity initiatives, patient researchers continue to face important barriers due to systematic epistemic, epistemic injustice, isn't it? So hence we can say option two would be the most appropriate answer uh, to the basis regarding a status, the status of patient researchers in academia. Isn't it? So I hope you understood this. That's all. Thank you.